Next to the um, motors, the second most common thing that fails on the V262 through normal wear and tear, not from crashes, but from normal wear and tear, are these uh, gears, the gearing mechanism on the uh, uh, quadcopter. Um, I've had some requests to show how to change these and um, that's the objective of today's video. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the propeller from the quadcopter. Pretty simple, just remove the screw, then lift up on the propeller and reinsert that screw so you don't lose it. And then place the propeller aside. Okay, after removing the propeller, the next thing we're going to do is push down on the uh, propeller shaft. And push down, and it's going to be a little bit tight there where it goes through the bushing. When it, when it tightens up, start to both push and also pull on the gear to on, from the bottom until it pops loose. It's going to be tight again on the bottom bushing. Actually, the bottom bushing might even come out. Let's see here. And it did come out, but that's okay. You just grab the bushing, grab the gear, and pull it off. You're going to have to remove that bushing. And just put it aside because we're going to have to put that bushing back on the shaft a little later. Okay, um, I moved the quadcopter aside because it's not needed at this point for this repair. I just wanted to show this. Uh, this particular gear I had lubricated with uh, graphite in the past. Um, I don't recommend that actually because it seems to accelerate wear on these gears. Just When you replace the gear just leave it unlubricated. Um, the thing about these gears are they're very inexpensive. They come in packs of about four for about a dollar sixty directly from Banggood. Uh, there's the SKU number it's 088971. Uh, so a package of four runs about a dollar sixty. So I'm going to grab one of these out here. Anyone will do. And to remove the gear from the shaft, it can be a little bit tight, but you got to push down until it pops off. Um, and then slide it upward and pull it off the top of the shaft. Now, one thing I want you to notice here, you'll notice flat edges on two sides of the shaft. Uh, or on two sides of the gear. That matches up with the flat ed edges on this bushing connector on the uh, shaft itself. Now to put a new one on here, these new ones tend to be a little bit tight. You know, It's almost impossible to tell you the truth to get it on there. Oh, in this case it did go on there easily. But a lot of the times you may have to take a sharp edge and just scrape that flat edge and remove a little bit mater of material off of the uh, gear to be able to push it back on to these uh, the flat edges of this bushing connector. But here we go. I'm just going to push it in and see if it goes on. And fortunately, in my case, it was pretty easy to get it on there. I'll do that again to show what I'm doing. Again, we're matching up the flat edges on this bushing with the flat edges on the inside of the gear. And there we go. Okay, I brought the quadcopter back into view again. Um, again, we're going to need to put this bushing back on again. Um, Sometimes some people recommend replacing these bushings with uh, actually uh, bearing uh, bushings with bearings in them. Um, they are also available on uh, Banggood.com uh, about a dollar each, eighty cents to a dollar each. Um, I really don't see the need for it though because the motors on this quadcopter are very high power and the um, increase in efficiency from bearing bushings is going to be relatively small overall for these larger motors. I can see it for smaller quadcopters like the V222 and V959, 949, yeah, our bearings probably come into play there. But these larger quadcopters, I don't see it. Okay, so I just put that one bushing on the shaft on the bottom. Now I'm sliding it up through the bottom. Yeah, let it let it come up, and then if it pops, if the top bushing pops off like that, 
like seen here just let it go up to the top and then just push down until it snaps down back into its uh, retainer hole on the uh, quadcopter okay now we go back to our propeller and remove that screw that we put in there don't lose that screw <laughs> and what we want to do is here I'm going to turn this so you can see it I'm going to try to turn it so you can see it <laughs> get up there I'm sorry folks there we go okay notice the hole in the propeller shaft we want to match up the hole in the propeller with the hole in the propeller shaft obviously put it on and we take our screw and reinsert it in that hole and put the propeller back on and that's it Oh, turn it to make sure that that hole went in there, but oh, I think I missed the hole. <laughs> so that's why it's good to double check. Probably above it there, see? It came loose. So, it's good that you're watching here. You can see the potential mistakes that, you, that can be made. Uh, okay, I pushed it up from the bottom. Then pushed the bushing in again. Pushing back down in its hole. Put the propeller back on. Trying to film and do this at the same time is a little difficult. But hold your finger on the bottom and make sure that shaft is all the way up. And then screw it back in again. Okay, and that time it's completed. So that's how you do it. Um, it's relatively simple to do. Um, and hope that helps for those who are wondering how to do it.